So at long last, the update has arrived, especially for the RC2. Um, you probably noticed there I got my Aparta 2, which on Friday is the start of my Aparta 2 series for being an old bloke. Anyway, I thought I'd better put it in now because obviously there's been a new update and obviously it's to do with the Aparta more than it is this, but it has solved a problem on the RC2 and that is the, they've got rid of the P mode at long last. And I've got to thank Nobby yet again. He's in there first, he's done it all. He said it's the P mode's gone, we're back to the M mode, which is great. Uh, and he did a quick test flight. Now I've only just seen this, so I'll put this up now. So we'll do a quick update, guys, just to prove that there is an update. Now, I've already done the phone um, on the ISO phone, and obviously you can do it on all the other devices. So we're talking about the RCM1, the RCM2, depending on what you use. I use my phone, but some people use their tablets. Um, yeah, so <laughs> if you've got a lot of drones, always a nightmare trying to update everything. And some people, like Kevin, um, he always hangs around and waits for us, always have a lot, see if we've got any problems. So anything, anyway, first thing you do, we do the RC2. I've already done my phone. The new update is the DJI Fly App, which is the 1.13.4. Now, the other thing is I didn't really notice is the RC2 got it so slow starting up. So hopefully with this new update, um, we'll have that sorted. Okay, so there is new version available. So we press that. Now, that, thinking about it now, is more to do with my drone because I haven't put it on, dumbass. <laughs> so let's put on my Mini 4 Pro. Okay, my Mini 4 Pro's on, so that should kick in. That's my own mistake. See, that's Russian. I'll be doing another video on how to update your new Afarta 2, but that's in another video coming soon. We go back to here. So you have to go into your profile. You go down to settings. Check for firmware updates. See, so it's all changing now, isn't it? The, the, the procedure, how you do it. Uh, okay, it's saying it's up to date. Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, I can see it now, it's highlighted. We've got a little red dot. Okay, here it is. Check for updates. <laughs> here it is. Oh, install now. Got it. Okay, so it's just, it's just been, maybe, maybe there's so many other people doing this at the same time, uh, and that's why it's taking so long to do. So guys, you always have to persevere when you do these updates, because they don't always, you know, kick in straight away. Right, there's another way you can do this. If you're getting problems, um, with, especially with your devices, you can always go on to the DJI Assist site and make sure it, when you do, when you download it, make sure it's the DJI Assist 2 and in brackets, the Consumer Drone Series for any downloads. Um, but at the moment, <laughs> it's, it seems to be taking its time for some reason. Okay, devices starting. Okay, so it's saying it's complete, right. So looking at that, we've got rid of the P mode. Um, so that was it. <laughs> I was expecting something a little bit more than that, but anyway, I'll just check, I'll just do another check on here. So we've got the new app version, which is the 1.13.4 which is good. So we've got the latest app update on here. Uh, we've got 
check for updates on that. Okay, so we've still got the same aircraft firmware update. I'll just do other updates as well. Okay, so everything's fine, that's good. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna turn everything off because I always find sometimes uh, there might be a problem. Anyway, just going back to something else, I just wanna check. Um, okay, so my, I just wanted to check. So my height restriction thing hasn't changed, which I didn't think it would do, but it would be nice if it had. <laughs> so anyway, that's there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna turn off the two back on, put my drone back on. Okay, we'll just see what happens first. So that looks like we've sorted that as well because the controller was another issue and it was take so long to load up. But anyway, we're just making sure if I just do the switch, C mode, back to sports mode. Yep. Yeah. Okay, looking everything good. Okay, so that's it guys. I will fly the drone uh, in the next couple of days, and if I have any issues, I'll let you know, but I'm sure we won't, he says. Anyway, as always, guys, there'll be another video coming very soon. Mm -hmm.